Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Eaton Elite Traveler, and this is an AM, FM, long wave, short wave portable radio. I bought this on sale from Amazon for $12 to $39. Normally it retails for $59. It was a pretty good bargain. I thought I'd jump on it. Here it is. Elite Traveler. Here it all is, AM, FM, long wave, short wave radio with ATS, auto tuning system. Got the leather jacket there, showing a profile pic. Got that gunmetal color with the black, love that. It's awesome. Uh, there you go, Eaton Corporation. Some bullet points there. Go to the back, some more bullet points. FM with RDS, stands out. Uh, 500 memory, so that's good. Uh, let's see, sleep timer, yeah, the basic stuff. Rich orange LCD display, always a nice thing. There we go. And uh, yeah, Grundig Elite Traveler receives. Oh, look at that. Every radio wavelength. Loving it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about every, but that's cool. No single sideband, dude. I know, but it's $39 radio, guys. <laughs> I was going to open this up. Put it in the box there. We get a owner's manual. Look at that in a little bit. And the radio. Got to tilt the box. Get that out. Box is empty. And the radio sits in this like little cradle. Let me try to get this out. Do this off camera so I can get this out of here. The struggle. Okay, that's empty. We got a spot for the antenna there. Okay, let me go ahead and bring in the guide. Elite Traveler. Uh, pretty basic and concise. There's a couple things I wanted to show you guys. Because we'll go over the radio, but in case I forget, <laughs> this is a pretty cool chart. It shows how it slow tunes and fast tunes, and uh, how micro-stepping, how it works. When you're in a slow mode, you're turning it, that's the resolution you're going to get. And if you do it real fast, that's the resolution you'll get in the slow mode. Fast mode's kind of interesting. You get your normal tuning, and if you spin that uh, tuning knob or wheel fast enough, it'll go a little quicker through the band. It's always hard to achieve, but on shortwave it works pretty well. All right, and I think specifications... And we'll get right to the radio so we can do some tuning tonight. Yeah, RDS, uh, memory. Yeah, 500 station presets. I was surprised. I thought it was like 300 or something. And then I remembered 500. I'm like, awesome. Oh, yeah, for those guys who like to have the FM expanded band, I'll probably go over that, talk about that. So there it is, how to turn long wave on and off. For those who don't know, <laughs> I get that question a lot on the Texan radios. Over here, oh, wait a minute, where's the start? Oh, here's your band coverage. Um... So AM, typical long wave, 153 to 513 kilohertz. That's beautiful because you can tune down to one kilohertz steps, which is nice. And you got short wave coverage from 2.3 to 26.1. It is full coverage. Very nice. And of course, they have DAB for Europe. There you go for that frequency range. All right. And over here, we got some basic stats. All right. So that's the book in a nutshell. Awesome. Loving it. Okay. Let's get to the radio. Here it is, the Elite Series they have on the front of this leather cover. Let's go over dimensions of the radio. We are five and three eighths of an inch across, three and a half inches tall, and a depth with that antenna, one and a half inches. So for size comparison, you know what, while we do the size comparison, I'm gonna take this jacket off. So take the jacket off. There's like magnets right in here for the latch on the speaker grill. And then you just take your antenna, and you unsnap it here, and you bring it straight so you can get through that. You line that up. There's three magnets to hold it to the back of the radio. And we just slide it out here. So that's the back where it's got the three magnets. All right, let's set that off to the side. And of course, I'll show you that in a second. So let's go do size comparison. We have CC Skyway always on hand. So you can get an idea for size comparison. The Skyway is definitely smaller of the radio. It takes two AA batteries versus the four on the Elite Traveler. Let's make it down the same frame. So it's a little smaller there. A little bit more portable. Uh, the antenna's in a good spot. It's flush with the case. So one thing about this, the antenna sticks out the back like the executive does. All right. And then we have a CC Pocket for another size demonstration. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about features because there's quite a few on this radio. I'm going to zoom it on down, get a little close up and personal here. All right, so features of the Eaton Elite Traveler. First thing, gunmetal gray here. I love it. I'm at black. Looks really nice with the white lettering. I'm digging it. Now, you know, I reviewed the black with the silver trim one. Silver is a little too much, but uh, I like how this looks. Left hand side, we have a headphone jack. Uh, personal experience, I don't like it. <laughs> it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Do not buy this radio if you intend to use headphones. I'm not joking. Um, heavy hiss, tremendous amounts of hiss, and every time you're tuning the radio, it pops. Like when you're seeking and it stops on a station, it pops, and when you change bands, it pops, and it's kind of painful pop. So it's like, okay, this is not fun. So headphones, and that's on the other one too. My, I did the executive uh, traveler, and I did the regular traveler. Same thing. It's just a horrible headphone experience. So don't buy it for headphones. <laughs> Uh, DC input, 6 volts. There you go. Um, that's handy to have there. Uh, in the front here, we have a 2-inch speaker behind this speaker grill, so it kind of extends in a little bit. Up here, it says Elite Traveler in real small print. We have our standard display here. and I'm just going to turn the light on so you can see it. Uh, this is really nice. We have local time and world time, and you can change this display here. Show alarm time, temperature while it's off, and then while the radio is on, it'll show the signal uh, to noise ratio. Here we have a battery level indicator, and uh, below here will be RDS information on FM. Okay, let's look at some of the buttons. We have the power button, acts as our sleep function button also. Here we have a lock button, also showed you how it toggles the display mode. Then over here we have some buttons that do quite a bit. Uh, the shortwave buttons, uh, up and down uh, for bands, and then also for shortwave, um, so for seeking forward and seeking down. And of course that, that's an AM and FM and long wave also, you can do the seek with those two buttons. Uh, not manual tuning though, only uh, manual tuning um, when you're in shortwave. So here you see it says 9K, 10K, that's for your switching, for your AM mode, and then your FM setting is your four bands, 87 and a half to 108, 87 to 108, to 64 to 108, and then the 76 to 108. For those who gotta know, <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> AM, FM, long wave with ATS, uh, auto tuning system. I don't use that, I like manually storing mine, but uh, it's there for you guys. Um, FM, and then of course RDS with that button. You saw the light uh, it went off. Let's bring it back on. So you want it to be on all the time, so you do that. Uh, and snooze button for your alarm. Then we have view frequency and view memory modes, which is pretty handy. So you can get to your presets that you have saved. And then we have a uh, step function where you can step uh, to those fine tuning and to your course tuning. Okay, then we have a little door, which is great for the Traveler series. I've always loved this about this radio, is you get the world time clock there, so you just move that slider wherever you want for the, the time zones. You can get a little world map there, following that. And over here we got four buttons. This is, uh, if you find a station you like, you tap memory, and you use the tuning wheel here to figure out where to put the uh, station to memory. It typically goes to the next unused slot when you hit the memory button. Then you have delete memory right here, and you can press and hold it to delete all the memory in that uh, particular band. And then you have a home world feature to set the time for home and world, and you have setting the alarm time button there. A little reset hole. Cool. Now, as far as presets go, I should tell you that real quick. Go ahead and close this. It snaps in two spots there and there. Um, you get 200 presets on shortwave. You get 100 on AM, 100 on longwave, which I think is crazy amount. And then you get 100 on FM. So that's pretty decent. Uh, let's go ahead to the right side of the radio. We have the tuning wheel. We have the volume wheel. On the back, we have the antenna. The antenna extends out to a whopping, I'm trying to think how long it is, 15 inches. I thought it would be longer. That'd be nice if it was, but uh, it has decent reception still. Um, so this is the back with the kickstand. And it has frequency information really small there. And there it is again. I think you saw it in the manual. Here's the spots where those magnets line up for the case. And it runs on 6 volts or 4 AA batteries. And the 4 AA batteries are behind that door. I'm not going to open it up because you really can't see the orientation because some of the batteries are over here. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on. So FM reception report. This is important. Um, I always do this because I can't scroll through the FM band due to copyright issues with music. One or two seconds of music can be a problem, and sometimes this can't be shown in certain countries. So FM reception, it gets a very good in FM sensitivity. I start out as fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. Five-star rating. Um, starts as one, goes to five. And typically most radios are between okay and good, and that's the analog radios. Digital radios tend to be a little higher between good and very good. This one beats it a little bit better. This one gets to very good, finding 81 stations. 
uh, really impressed. So that's a four star rating on FM. Just an amazing FM receiver for 39 bucks. Uh, loving it all day long. And it sounds really good coming out of the speaker here. Also, FM selectivity gets a very good, did an excellent job. Only had one station where it bled over. That was my local station five miles away. So that's that's that. So there it is. So you already know about the headphone experience. Not fantastic. <laughs> that is one that's not fun. Uh, before we turn it on too, I wanted to mention there's a buzzer mode. Like used to hit, when you hit these buttons, they used to beep. And you can turn that off by holding the snooze light button down. So I turn that on, beep on. So when I hit buttons, they'll beep. Hear that? See it? Now everything beeps. I don't like beeping. <laughs> so turn it off, press and hold. Beep off. I did want to show you the long wave. I mentioned it, but I'm going to show it anyway. Long wave off. You just hold the AM long wave key to turn it off. If you want to turn it back on, hold it down. It says long wave on. Again, I said that so many people ask, so that's why I did that to show you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do some radio toddler. Let me go ahead and you know what I'm, do? I'm just going to pull this out here and get ready for short wave. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Come on, on. You can do it. All right. We're going to show we we're going to switch to FM. It we'll runs for a minute or two. And if you go all the way down, it says mute, which is nice. I'll go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, it gives you a little audio experience just to compare to other videos. See what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my MP3 player so we don't have any interference when we go to the medium wave band. So as you look here on the FM, uh, you can actually, uh, I'm going to hook up my wire for the short wave. I have a 12 foot wire strung up in my window uh, inside of the blinds, not outside. And uh, it's from a Texan PL380. Here's a little simple wire. Uh, there's no external antenna jack, so we just clip it right to the antenna mast here. This is going to be for our shortwave, but most of these are the FM. Works out really well for the FM on this radio. So there we go. Um, so let me show you how this tunes. So you can actually tap this uh, to go to frequency or preset. So if I go to preset, I only have one in there right now, I think. Or there's a couple, actually. Let's turn it up. The, uh, the, uh, the beatific vision of Jesus. Uh-huh. Uh, the sacrifice that it would take, but it's good for that purpose. He now, as it were, looks out at us with a mirror image and three times repeats, worthy of me. In other words, what he's saying is that to follow him, our lives as disciples fit into the same... So there you go. You can see the uh, RDS info there. You just scroll through that, the different ones by hitting RDS button right here. You can change the display. There you go. It's showing the... Uh, Call sign there, real nice. Okay, um, so to tune this now, if you go back to the uh, frequency mode, you'll hit this, tap it for view frequency, 
it'll say tuning mode. You can actually tune it in a normal 100 kilohertz steps. Or we can fine tune it by holding this down. And that, that double arrow goes down to a single arrow, so when you tune it now, it goes up in little, uh, where is that, 10 kilohertz step. So you have that fine tuning. Very cool. All right, so there. And then, yeah, if you go back to your fast tuning, uh, let's go. I like that music. That sounds really neat. Go back up there, fast tune. You can actually go through the band really quickly if you scroll this fast. It's not doing it for me now. You really have to get that tuning wheel going. There it goes. See it jumping there? <laughs> Trying to get to my new station. That's the only way to do it. Guys, Christmas is knocking on the door. Are you still looking for that special gift for your wife or girlfriend? Then treat her to the very best this year with the world's softest pajamas from Pajamagram, America's PJ experts for over 15 years. The world's softest pajamas are lighter than a cloud and softer than a bunny. Okay, so you get the idea. So let's go to have fun shortwave. Everybody likes shortwave, so let's get to there. Uh, so go over, hit shortwave over here. Gonna start way at the bottom here. Uh, so if you want to start scrolling the band, you just tap up. And it goes really quick, which is nice. Now it's browsing, so if you find something, you got to tap it again to stop it. Otherwise, it's going to keep going. Uh, the, uh, the you know what we call uh, alternative energy. These three blade wind turbines if you want and to save solar panels simply don't work. Memory. And I've stated this a long time again. ago. Oops, too slow. Have been put Memory. Out there by a big corporation Maybe again, lock it in. With the central power company. But what I have devised is a system that does work and which we can use. So what I'm going to do as it goes, I'm just going to tap this memory key. Okay, that one I already have. <laughs> Canadian time signal. But it goes really quick on this browse feature, which is really nice. Okay, I think it should have saved that if you just tap it once on this Free mode. Bottle of bio I'm going to let it cruise up the band a little bit. We'll see what we found. This little wire, nothing special. But this is how I usually use the radio. As you can see, we're getting quite a few. So just sensitive enough, picking up these stations. So we'll go up to about 10, I'll stop, and we'll go see what we found. And then uh, we'll go to medium wave and see what happens there. But this radio really, really shines on shortwave and really shines on FM. For for 39 bucks. Can't beat it. I'll have some links below here. Check them out. Uh oh. Many infallible proof. A lot of religious programming, yes. Everybody complains about that, but uh, hey, maybe we can see a resurgence in some other. Dun, dun, dun. We have to get up to 10 there. I think we're almost through here. It's, like I said, it moves really quickly here, which is nice. I'll show you how the bands work, and it's pretty simple there. And tuning out of the band is really easy to do. Also. Let's see. Okay, we're there. All right, so I want to stop. 
So you just go really quick here. Now you can see how it goes down the band. That's the spot where it's skipped. You can tune. Uh, when you're browsing it, of course, it goes in the shortwave bands, but then you can tune out a band manually, like I'm doing right now. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, this is fast tuning. Of course, you can change it by holding this down. And you can do one kilohertz tuning on the shortwave. We're going to go to frequency mode. I mean, sorry, memory mode. Okay, there we are. Preset one. Okay, the BB on 10 megahertz, that's nice. These different functions, and then when we sit down and decide, do they want to complete off the grid system? Uh, do they just want grid assist? You know, there's so many questions that we have to ask them that everyone is literally different. <laughs> operatives and these people they claim are CIA uh, or, or are, uh, you know, FSB are being uh, funded by FSB and turns out are CIA and of course that's come out with a bunch of these other people while we read this I'd ask you to meditate on it in fact we'll probably read it again and most believe not. Your preachers on the day of Pentecost has got to include repentance. Tell me why they call it metal, I don't know. There's no sense in these words. San Maximiliano Colbe eh, la lleva aquí en España es uh, de la orden de frailes menores con... Con in order to discourage spurious claims and to make sure there's quite a bit here <laughs> it's awesome we have to get the medium wave but that's okay because medium wave I'm going to have full band scans videos for you guys Okay. <laughs> All right, so there's our short way. We just went through the presets. Pretty fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to close this door here. We're going to go to medium wave. Show you how that works. Now, medium wave, it does have some harmonics and birdie tones and things. I'll disconnect that. Still picking up WWV with that antenna retracted. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, we get some uh, harmonics in here. And sometimes you can make it go away by bringing a loop in. And I'll see if we have to do that tonight. So let's go ahead and change it to the medium wave. Actually, here's, we'll go to long wave. Show you the beacon there. Yeah, you can hear it picking up the noise from the display. <laughs> okay, that beacon. There you go, it's a small airport. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to medium wave. We'll go to fast turn. 
Press and hold that. Uh, I want to brag about uh, Oops, I'm on the uh, memory mode still. Okay, I have to go back to tuning. And then you can go really quickly. As you can see, if you go fast, it goes 100 kilohertz steps. Okay, let's go 10. CHO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. You can hear it clicking with the volume. It's just digititis. It's picking up the, uh, the RFI from the generated from the volume, digitally going up and down. But it's only on the medium wave and long wave. I don't find it too much of a distraction. So this one's got a little bit of noise on it on 590. Um, yeah, you bring a loop in, you put it here. I'm going to show you that during the daytime and evening band scan, and that'll actually disappear. CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Okay, that there's uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Here's uh, WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles. Who thought the Cubs would go from 73 wins to the LCS in 15? Yeah, I mean, there, it's not like you're not allowed to make that kind of jump if you haven't. And remember, local WSCR, the score, going, Chicago. They have huge help coming. Nation movement. A big thanks for doing what you do. WLW, Cincinnati. America's trucking network with Steve Summers. Okay, 740, Zoomer Radio, CFCM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always a treat for me, comes in beautiful. Here's a WSB, Georgia. Why? Because families are traveling and burglars know people have expected. A proven, confirmed explanation for why the climate should cool. 770, w, uh, ABC, New York, New York. And of course, you can... Press and hold and slow tune. That maybe the sun could be the cause, the lack of sunspots. What data we do have uh, is not clear at all. So, anyway, let's talk about what's going on right now. Just what he was looking for. The boss man, Kevin, and I were NBA from zone. Very interesting. Yeah. Hey, guys, from Ooh, whatever reaction you're looking for, this, this is uh, WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. And now you going to go real quick here. You can browse up. It's going to stop on every one, so we'll just cruise up. Let's go to the top of the band here. Chicago. Pittsburgh, Boston, okay, we'll go up to the top of the band here, you can see scrolls pretty quick, He's rocking 1610 CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. We're almost done here. We'll go to the top 1700 and we'll. KBGG, Iowa. And then there's a KK, uh, I can't remember this. Uh, there's a Texas station, KKLF, Richardson, Texas. 790 miles with the Hispanic music. 
There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off and do final thoughts on the Eaton Leaf Traveler. Yes, it has alarms. I didn't mention that. Uh, you can wake to radio or to buzzer, which is nice. And you can set the station and the volume you want to wake up to on the station, which is nice. Uh, so overall impressions for 39 bucks, uh, get it. Uh, they still sell, I think, the Executive, and I'll have links for that. That's the all silver model. And some people say that's like $32. So if it's anything under $40, uh, snap it up. It's really worth it. Uh, shortwave and FM, just fantastic. Medium wave is decent. I mean, there's some a few birdie tones here and there, but overall, you heard how well those stations were coming in. And uh, yeah, watch for those videos coming up. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a big like. You guys are amazing. Yes. Uh, if you like eating products, you like the Elite Series, uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future videos, and of course check out my playlist at the end here where I've reviewed every single one of these Elite models, the Mini, the Traveler, the Field, and the Executive. And of course, uh, comment below what you think about the Eaton Elite Traveler. Uh, would this be a radio you'd pick up for when it's under 40 bucks? I'd really like it. I think it's a really neat radio. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm enjoying it, definitely. I just wish the headphone experience was a little bit better, definitely. Alright guys, well I appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.